Hello, brother. We're going to be shooting this video a little rogue as I am still homeless in Orange County, California. And I have yet to invest in a tripod for this camera. So I will be doing fancy hand shots like Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind or some other artsy movie. So here we are, Step Brotherhood 2.0. Wow. I like it. So, I was getting a haircut uh, yesterday with your cousin Julia, and I was looking in the mirror and I came up with a new look. I'm going to run it by you. Let me know what you think about it. It goes a little something like this. See, I feel like it uh, goes well with a mustache. It's a classy look, and uh, I feel like you give it in a situation when somebody says something maybe inappropriate or solves a crime or uh, maybe says some sort of funny joke or cliche. For example, would you look at that wiener? It's very Robert De Niro. Um, so this brings us to the portion where I answer your question. Can you sell my classic movies? Movies such as Lake Placid and Under Siege starring Steven Seagal. Let me think. No. I bought a motorcycle helmet today. I haven't bought my motorcycle yet. But I got the helmet. I'm going to go look at a bike tomorrow. And a place to live. So maybe, in the next vlog, I'll actually be able to show you my new place and my new cool wheels. See, I'm really excited about getting a motorcycle because it's going to get all the chicks. Only problem is you get motorcycle hair and in the rain it hurts and you have to wear leather and I'm pretty sure you have to kill a person if you ride one for long enough um, which I'm probably gonna do this uh, this entry is gonna be a little bit short um, I'm gonna cap it off here with some images from my road trip that I recently took to uh, Vermont with Justin Bean and met up with Steven Muscarella and Justin's girlfriend Carice came with us. So uh, enjoy. Look forward to talking to you again in a couple of days. Hopefully uh, I'll be a little bit more organized and we can we can do this a little bit better. I won't be shooting this by hand in your aunt and uncle's spare bedroom. Until then, you stay classy. These educated North Northerners are not quite as intelligent as they think. The three Southerners have come to overthrow the Northern intellect.